Over 100 days and a failed attempt later, the Tatas seemed to have finally found another expat to steer the loss-making Air India towards a profitable business. The Tata Group has roped in 50-year-old Campbell Wilson, the CEO of Singapore Airlines' long-haul budget unit, Scoot. Singapore Airlines is also Tata's joint venture partner in Vistara. After their takeover in January, Tata's first choice to lead Air India was former Turkish Airlines chairman Ilkar Aichi. But the choice ran into some trouble back home due to Turkey's strained relations with India. The row ended when Aichi declined to take up the responsibility. Meanwhile, Air India chairman N. Chandrasekharan described Wilson as an industry veteran who had worked in key global markets across many functions. Singapore Airlines Group CEO Go Chun Pong said that while the group was sad to lose Wilson, he was going to Air India with their full blessings. Wilson said in a statement that Air India aimed to become one of the best airlines in the world. He said that he was excited to join Air India and Tata colleagues in the mission of realizing that ambition. Air India will have to wait at least a month before it hands over the responsibility to Wilson. His last working day at Scoot is June 15, and industry observers do not expect Tata's to face hurdles in obtaining a security clearance from the Union Home Ministry for him. Wilson started off his career as a management trainee with Singapore Airlines in 1996 in New Zealand. He then worked for the group in Canada, Hong Kong and Japan before returning to Singapore in 2011 as the founding CEO of Scoot, which he led until 2016. He then served as the Senior Vice President, Sales and Marketing of Singapore Airlines, where he worked on pricing, distribution, e-commerce, merchandising, brand and marketing, global sales and the airline's overseas offices before returning for a second stint as the CEO of Scoot in April 2020. By then, Scoot had merged with the group's short-haul low-cost airline, Tiger Air. Scoot has a major presence in India, and so does Singapore Airlines. A lot of uh, factors need to click for anyone to uh, come on a position like this. The first thing would be, uh, obviously, the person concerned needs to have aviation experience second thing they need to have worked in a strategic uh, uh, you know management position basically not just in an operational role so with campbell wilson he's got these experiences he's also got the experience of uh, being the founding ceo of school you know he's he's gained the experience in how to build an airline from a scratch combination of these factors would have been uh, making him the choice uh, for the Tata group. Does he have turnaround experience or not? I can tell you that, uh, you know, founding an airline from a scratch is basically you will uh, require some of the same skill sets. Air India needs a leader who's firm, but who's also approachable. He has uh, the sharp mind that is required to run an airline. Singapore Airlines is not on board with the, um, you know, with Tata's uh, trying to go ahead and uh, acquire Air India. Uh, Singapore Airlines did not want to join them at that point of time. I believe as things in the world of travel and aviation get better, they might find the money to join um, this business or uh, they might be eager to come on board in some way or form. And uh, having Campbell on board could be a great way to start that because Campbell has left the Singapore Airlines camp but that does not mean he does not know people there you know he could get both sides on the table the incoming CEO will also have to work towards pairing Air India's two billion dollar debt refurbishing its fleet improving service quality and rationalizing its routes what would be his immediate challenges at Air India the first thing would be obviously to get used to the culture I think Air India might still be coming off the block as uh, if I may use the term, a little sarkari or a little bureaucratic, uh, I guess. Change in the Air India culture will obviously uh, change as new people come on board and uh, so on. Immediate challenges for him uh, would be that the Air India, uh, what do you call the product, the, you know, the aircraft, which obviously people buy a seat on, are in very bad shape. There are some aircraft which are uh, new and hence good but a lot of the aircraft are in very bad shape. Uh, buying new aircraft is a very costly affair and it's a long-term solution to the problem. In the short term, he will need to fix the current aircraft. Any aircraft has 25, 30 years life in it. 
uh, at the minimum. And these are like, you know, the 787s, if you look at the 787s, they're only about uh, at the most 10 years old. And these aircraft have been just kept in very bad shape. So if they're going to be able to fix them, um, you know, maybe buy new seats, buy a new in flight right. entertainment system, uh, fit uh, internet on board, they can do wonders with these aircraft. They don't really need um, new mm -hmm. aircraft, especially coming from an airline which is in financial distress. Mind. Tata Group has been beefing up Air India's top management as a precursor to the CEO's appointment. Suresh Dutt Tripathi, who headed HR at Tata Steel, was appointed as Air India's Chief Human Resource Officer. Rajesh Dogra, a TCS veteran who headed the Passport Seva program, is now Head of Customer Experience and Ground Handling, while Satya Ramaswamy, former Head of Strategic Initiatives at Tata Digital, is now the Chief Digital and Technology Officer at the airline. This is the first time the airline will have a Chief Digital Officer as it looks to improve its tech backend. The Reject team will help Wilson in executing his vision and whatever turnaround strategy he may have for Air India. Wilson has 26 years of aviation industry experience across both full-service and low-cost airlines, which will come in handy not just for Air India, but also for Air India Express and AirAsia India, which is in the process of merging with Air India. In his own words, Wilson has worked in 12 roles across six countries in three continents. Air India will count on this to help revive the fortunes of the Maharaja. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.